Welcome to DVCom Technology. In this lab, I'm going to show it to you how to upgrade Aster P550. So make sure that before you are going to upgrade the firmware guys, let's go and have a look. So the connectivity part. So make sure that from your PC, you have to be have a reachability for your P series PBX. So as per my previous video, I show it to you how to do the initial configuration. At the time of initial configuration, I have changed the IP address of my PBX which I given there 192.168.1.5 and my PC IP address is 1.10. So for the reachability verification, I just go here, open the command prompt and type 192.168.1.5. Yes, I have a successful reachability. Now open the browser. See here, it's already open guys. And the default username is admin administrator, which I configured in previous video and the password. Now you can just click on login. So once you log in here, if you want to know what's your existing firmware version, you can see on the top right corner, there is a information. So just click on the information. Then you can just go down and you can able to see here the default right now, the firmware which has comes with this device, which is 37.7.0.16. Maybe your appliance, it has a different version guys, because at the moment, this PBX is a, which is loaded with 37.0.16. So right now I want to know whether it's a latest firmware or not, because again, people, they have a question that before you are going to, you know, download the latest firmware, do we require any agreement or any contract? No, you don't require any agreement on contract guys. So simply what you have to do, just go to the Aster website, www.aster.com. Then after that, go to the resource. Then you can see here there is a firmware. Just click on the firmware. Then after that, go down and you can see here to download the P series firmware. As I told you, the P series has a two versions, guys. One is the appliance, other one is the software. Cloud is also there that we will talk about later. But right now we are focusing on the appliance model. So right now I'm trying to upgrade the firmware for P550. If you see here, P550, P560, P570 you can use the same firmware version guys. So that's why whatever configurations I'm trying to do it here, it's the same for the remaining three models. So you nothing to worry. So don't worry about it because the firmware version is the same for these three bundles. Now you can download this firmware. Already I have downloaded guys. Either you can download in the zip format or you can download in the bin it choice is yours. There is no problem for it. Then once you downloaded the firmware, you can go back to your PBX. And if you see here in the down, there is a maintenance. So click on the maintenance and click on the upgrade. And here, before you are going to upgrade, there is a one very important thing, guys. If you notice here, check for the new firmware. So in case if your PBX is getting internet, so you just click on the check for the new firmware, then automatically your PBX will contact the Easter server. And from there, it's trying to download the latest firmware in case if the latest firmware is available. In case if you don't want to do that, if you want to upload it manually, just go down and upload the manual. So that already I have downloaded from Aster website so that I can do the manual upgrade. And there is one more important thing, guys. If you see here, there is a backup and restore. So for example, the customer site is already configured. The PBX, everything is configured and you want to upgrade it. It's always best practice before you are going to start the upgrade, keep the backup. Take the backup of your device and store it in your local PC. Then after that, you can go for upgrade. Because you know, if you find any issues, maybe the customer will come back and it tell you after upgrading, there is something is not working. So that you need to figure it out why it's not working. So to avoid these kind of issues, better before you are going to upgrade the firmware, it's always recommends that take the backup and keep it ready. So now I'm going to upgrade this. So just click on the browse. Then after that, if you see here, already I have downloaded the firmware, which is .bin file, say open. Then after that, click upgrade. Then now see here, it's going to upgrading now. So we just wait for some time and it will take to upgrade. Say uploading firmware, please wait. And you can see here, guys, it will take about two minutes to upgrade so that I'm going to pause this video. Once it's done, I'm going to be show it to you guys. Welcome back, guys. It's successfully upgraded and let's go and verify it. So go to the dashboard again. 
and click on the information here you just go down and you can see here it's successfully upgraded guys so this is what how it's going to upgrade so in my next couple of videos I'm going to show it to you how to configure the Aster P series PBX so we are going to see all the configurations guys so keep subscribe my YouTube channel and for more videos and in, if you have any sales related queries please send us an email sales at datawise.com for support please send us an email support at datawise.com thank you for watching this video